It's called 5G and will be switched on in 2020. The system can handle 1,000 times more traffic than 4G, linking phones, watches, cars, drones, any sort of Wi-Fi device within one millisecond. I think that'd be great. Yeah, uh, it's, it's the way of the future, really. But a group of Brisbane scientists are concerned the ultra-high frequencies required could cause damage to our bodies. There's a whole raft of headaches, sleeplessness, tiredness. The radio waves are invisible, cannot be felt or heard. Scientists say research proves the high frequencies can penetrate our skin, potentially causing cancers, heart problems and rashes. But that interaction can cause uh, DNA breaks. 5G will also require thousands of new towers in suburban streets to provide blanket coverage. The government body responsible for setting the safety standards in Australia created them in 2002. Scientists say there's been incredible advancements in the industry since then and nobody considered using 5G frequencies at the time. That means the original limits are now barely relevant. In a statement, the Radiation Protection Agency said the international guidelines are currently being revised and an Australian review will follow. Nevertheless, further research in this area is required, particularly on effects on the skin and the eyes. Health specialists believe 5G shouldn't be activated until that work is done. The issue will be the focus of a research seminar open to the public at Griffith University tonight. Darren Curtis, Nine News.